Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 225. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and you can download the workbook. Excel Magic Trick 221 to 229. Hey, in this trick right here, we're going to look up a value given two criteria. We have a little table here. And um, the problem is there's some duplicates in this first column. Now, I've done a few other videos on this topic, and this will be an alternative method. I actually just added a uh, new playlist that's called Lookup for Two Variables. And it's got two variable lookup and two variable lookup when you have duplicates like this. So let's see how this is done. First, I want to name this column and this column and this column. So I'm going to highlight the table and because I have my name at the top of each column I can just use the keyboard shortcut control shift F3 this works both in um, 2007 3 and on back I'm gonna say just the top row and then click OK now I should have my names up here and sure enough I do that will make creating the formula a little bit easier now I'm gonna see if I can make this a little bit bigger here Okay, and we're going to have uh, some criteria here. The first thing we want to do is we want to do index, because we are going to look up something, and index will allow us to look up. Now, the array we want to look up, let's take a look over here, is price. This is our ultimate goal, but we have two criteria, and the columns are right before the price. So we'll just put uh, price for the lookup array. Now I'm going to hit F3 to paste a name, comma. And now, uh, to get our row number, we'll do an if. We'll do a big if with two criteria. If, and we'll say uh, date 1. So I'm going to hit F3. If date 1 is equal to this, and then comma, if date 2 is equal to this, then what do I want? Well, I'm going to need a row number because index right here, here's the array and it wants a row number. Well, if these two conditions, uh, there's going to be some trues and falses here, trues and or uh, there's duplicates here, so there'll be some trues and falses. Here it'll be false, 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 and a true, right? So only when it's true here and true here from these arrays, uh, we need the same uh, array but row numbers. So here's how we'll do it. We'll do row. And we can use any one of our fields because they're all the same size. I'm just going to use uh, price, so the row of price. And if we uh, analyze this right now, it would be an array of uh, values. So I'll hit F9, 15. Well, that's not it. Index either needs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or 7, Control-Z. We'll simply subtract minus row. And we'll go over here and click on uh, the first um, cell in this range. And that won't work either because right now it would give us uh, the first one would be 15 minus 15, and we don't want that, so we have to add one back in. And that's how we can get our a range of values. If I highlight this and hit F9, I got my 1 through 7. Control Z. All right, so we have our index value and then some rows. Let's go ahead and close parentheses on the if and then close parentheses on the other if, and then close parentheses on the index. And when I control shift enter, it's not going to work. Oh, well, it gave us a value, but what happened? It's the first one, and that's not what we want. We had a 18430, so it should, really should be returning this. Well, let's go take a look at this. We've actually seen this problem in one other video that we've done here. Hit F2. I just want to highlight all of this which is our own numbers, and hit um, F9. False, false, three, false, false, false. Aha, now what's happening here is this row number here, this, is, this index function is expecting a single row number. So when a single, when an argument is ex expecting a single number sees an array, it just takes the first one. And actually if you run index on, with a zero as a row number, it'll take the first one. So we gotta figure out how to get that three. Control Z. We've seen this one time before. Oops. Uh oh, Control Z. Oh, I just wrecked my formula. Luckily, I can escape. 
So all of that was there. Uh, luckily, we can just either uh, use a sum or a min or a max, anything to get that three. Let me just highlight this right here, just right, and hit F9. See, if we do a sum, it's going to do nothing with the falses and add the three. If we do a min, it's going to get the three. If we do a max, it's going to do get the three. So I'm going to Control-Z. I'm going to use max. And then come to the end, and uh, now we can see that it will get that individual three. If I hit F9, and sure enough, that's what we want, Control-Z. And I'm going to Control-Shift-Enter. So let's see how this works now. I'm going to select uh, two. And we have these little increments. So this is two to four. So I look down here, two to four, and 376. So there you go. That's how to do a, a two-way lookup when there's uh, duplicates in the first column here. One of several ways we've seen. Yeah, do go and find that playlist if you want to see some other methods to do this. See you next trick.